Today was the last day of school on Long Island, so thousands of teachers said goodbye to their students. But in Bayport, one teacher said goodbye for good. She is retiring and got a special send off years in the making from News 12's Kevin Marr. Inside her classroom at Bayport Blue Point High School, English teacher Therese Blake is helping seniors touch up their final projects. So decide what would be relevant to share. What would be significant to your thesis? And Miss Blake is also writing her final chapter. She's retiring after more than 30 years on the job. You know, when I think about it, it doesn't really feel like a long time. But pictures tell the story. She started teaching fresh out of college in 1987. I know because I was there on her first day in her first class, seventh grade English. I can tell you exactly what dress I wore that day. Can't tell you a thing I taught. I was terrified. She was also my eighth grade teacher and always one of my favorites. I haven't seen her since then, but when she signed my yearbook, she said, never forget her and those junior high years. 32 years later, I'm here to say thanks and happy retirement. Right now, cameraman Dave is in her classroom. She thinks Dave is here to do a story just about like school or something. She's in for a big surprise. Talk about how you would have had some difficulty. Hi there, I'm Kevin Marr. I'm reporting for English class about 30 years later. Oh so this is a complete setup. There is no story. I'm just here to do a story on you. Are you shocked? Congratulations on your retirement. And these are for you? actually shaking. <laughs> but I'm trying to hold it together for my students. Her current students call Miss Blake a star for also holding them together while teaching in the pandemic. She said that challenge made her better and only adds to the memories she'll take out the door. It's been amazing. I've only been in Bayport, so I have no point of comparison. But at the same time, I don't really care. What she always cared about was her students, and she's had thousands through the years. Her job was to make them good readers and writers. You really have to dig deep for that, because everybody knows him, so you want to kind of put a spin that's going to be more interesting. But she said her goal was to make them something better than that. I just hope that, they are, that they're good in their life, yeah. and that they measure themselves based on what they know is good. And for this former student, it wasn't just good seeing Miss Blake again and flashing back to the 80s. Wow. We liked her so much, we dedicated the yearbook to her. Wow. It was also great to tell her something I've been meaning to tell her for years. So I'm here to say thank you to you because the things you taught me, I still use. Alliteration, onomatopoeia, the power of threes. So thank you. I'm feeling um, very humbled right now. Like this shouldn't be about me. This should be about my students, my colleagues. They're all the reason why I have had such a great career. A career that, like a well-written story, came with a surprise in the end. In Bayport, Kevin Marr, News 12, Long Island.